All right, all right. Welcome, everyone. Welcome back to some more Resident Evil 2. Uh-oh. Forgot to turn on the light. Hey, there we go. <laughs> Welcome back to some more Resident Evil 2. Uh, the game that I, I have been just absolutely loving. Um, the, yeah, I don't have anything else to say. I... It's just been blowing me away. And that appears before Ada. And, oh yeah, I don't have time. I just need to follow Ada. So we were following Ada. We saved Ada. We were attacked by uh, Birkin. Uh, and we had a quite a difficult fight. It was difficult to execute, not difficult to figure out. But I, I've been liking that all the fights are not straight up fights where you're you're just shooting them. It they kind of have a little bit of a puzzle element. And and I I really enjoy that. I've been loving this game. I feel like I was thinking about this earlier, but damn leg. Let me carry you. No. That only make me feel worse. Uh I feel like I was thinking about streaming and the stuff I enjoy the most streaming and it if I could stream more games like this, I would pair. Both got one foot in the grave. I I just enjoy. I just enjoy playing these types of games and if I could play more games like this, I would be very happy. Very happy. That should take us where we need to go. We're in the train. This may be a one-way ride, so be prepared. Yeah. Too late! I already pulled the thing. This tram is bound for Nest. Do not exit until the final destination. <laughs> hey, Leon, be sure you're... <laughs> Wait for the FBI to raid Umbrella Headquarters and take those bastards to justice. I agree, but to be clear, you're not working in official capacity. This is a federal case. Once we get the G-Virus, I'm back on my own. Hey, Leon. Trust me? <gasps> she said the magical words. Trust me? <laughs> Honestly, if I didn't, you'd probably be dead. Right. I thought I might need your help, and I was right. If you can secure the G-Virus, I can make sure what happened in Raccoon City never happens again. Ada, you say it yourself. It's a federal case. I Leon, don't have the authority. look at me. I'm a liability now. If I'm going to finish this case, you're the last hope I've got. I'm not just going to leave you here. What if you're attacked? What if you need help? What? <laughs> what just happened? To see you again. I got plenty to live for. Trust me. Now arriving at Ness. I I was not expecting that. Go. Please, we don't have much time. You're gonna need this. Okay. Oh, he's he's got that. Leon. Counting on you. I know. <laughs> Why does it occupy a, a space in my inventory? I I'm wearing it. Oh, Leon, Leon is ready now. Leon is ready now. He knows what's up. He knows what's up. All right, let's see. Da -da -da. I got one of each. I'm gonna... I still haven't been intoxicated. Uh, actually, I, I do have an extra green, so I'm gonna... 
do this, combine, and put it back in here. Did I miss one? I was kind of hoping I, I got everything, but I have a feeling I did miss one. I have a lot. What happens if I mix yellow gunpowder gun with more yellow? I think it makes magnum ammo. Yeah. That's fine. Use this time to reload all my guns. And then it's good to know too, visually, this game has kind of future-proofed itself because they said that they're going to be adding adding um, support for ray tracing. So it uses a lot of reflective uh, surfaces. And with ray tracing, it's going to look really good. So... For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. Okay. No. For your safety... Oh wow, these are... that's a lot of doors. Triple doors? Oh, I, I love games that have like a lab. I love games that have a lab setting. Uh, probably because I grew up with Resident Evil. <laughs> and I'm like, oh yeah, the lab. Uh... I wonder if this is the G virus. Nap room log. Toby Jackson entered three. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Sarah Sarah Taka, Taka, Takahashi, Walt Page, Anthony White, Cyril Archer, Desmond Locke, Wayne Lee. Oh boy, it begins. But I, I love the look of like labs and stuff. Uh, I think even Portal and an aperture. I love that clean look that these labs have. ID wristbands. This research facility uses the latest security technology in order to ensure employee safety and efficient business practices. In order to enter and exit the facility to operate certain equipment, employees must use an ID wristband. There are three levels of access. Visitor, general staff, and senior staff. Authentication is granted based on an electronic chip inside the wristband. Wristband access level can be changed simply by simply inserting a different electronic chip. Visitor wristband can be given to family members of employees. Please inquire who would want to bring their family at reception for further details. Maybe the reception has, because I can't walk past this chair, but maybe they had a... Yes, please. There we go. Research lab, north area map. Reception, security room, cafeteria, nap room. Oh, the dude's still there. The dude's still there. All right. I'm going to check this door. It's probably the elevator. It won't let me in, but... Oh, pizza! Pretty good looking pizza. Go for some pizza. And this game looks good. <laughs> it looks really good. Hmm. Nice little room. I think there was there. When it came to 3D games, I think staff only beyond this point. Guests must refrain from entering. I think two generations got it right. 
and I'm not saying about how good it looked, but I, I think about when it comes to game design. And I think it was that first generation, the PS1, uh, Nintendo 64 generation. I think they got the density that the games needed to look, and they understood the limitations. So they they were telling stories they, they could have never before, but they knew what the limitations were. And then for this generation i think that we finally reached where the playstation 2 and playstation 3 generation were trying to uh do but they finally reached the right amount of like density of things they could finally put in the game uh, Always look to the sides, people. Ah, come on. Wait, where did I throw the guy? Grenade. Nice. What is this? Combine. Yes. Son of a bitch. There we go. Oh, is that blood or is that just a red counter? I think he's still alive, but whatever. Cause yeah, I feel like there are definitely examples of games in, in the in between generations, PlayStation 2 and PlayStation 3 that do it right. But I think overall, a lot of places felt empty, a lot of places felt like it didn't feel right. Uh, I, I felt like they were trying to go so much bigger than they actually could manage and make it feel right. Obviously, at the time, no one was thinking or noticing that, but... But it was definitely something that... I don't know, I felt like in the back of your mind, you know, at the time, it's not something you're like, Oh, this isn't good enough, but in the back of your mind, you're like, Ah, there's something missing. And there has there have been multiple times now in this generation that I'm like, this is really good. This is what I would expect. And I don't know, this game once again proves that to me. I can throw a regulator. What's this? Need a battery? MUF? Regulator? Okay, I don't... Whatever it is, I don't have it yet. But yeah, I, I have been left with that feeling, and... This generation just gets it. It really does. The density of a natural feeling real location. Hey, you chill. You chill over there. Just because you see boxes like this and stuff like that. And if you look at PlayStation 1 games, the best of them, uh, even Resident Evil, stuff like that, they use different techniques, right? Techniques that work for the time. Like the... In Resi the old Resident Evils, they were pre-rendered backgrounds. That worked for the time, and it looked really good. Uh, even games, some games that had a fully 3D rendered kind of setting, like the... Uh, like the uh, Metal Gear Solid 1. Uh, 
I think I could carry all these weapons. It does leave me with only two, but I think that's fine. But they, they looked right. They felt right for what they were and what they were trying. And I don't know. I don't know. It's 100% possible it's just me uh, and that no one else sees it like that. But that is definitely the kind of feeling that, oh, that I, I kind of get. Whoa. Look at this place. That's really cool. That's really cool. Oh, it's like the hunk. The hunk guy. Alpha to ghost. Target moving to west area. Must be going to retrieve the G-virus. An antiviral agent. This is ghost. Understood. Rendezvous. Point W3. Roger. This is Alpha. Arrived at destination. Understood. Stand by target. They all have the same voice. This is off. We're the good eyes on target. You gotta open the safe. Roger. Awaiting signal. Got eyes on G-Virus. We're going in, Dr. Birkin. You'll come along with us quietly. G-Virus uh, is in the west area. Got it. I feel like the volume is a little bit low. Give me give me one second here while I, I adjust that. There we go. It's like, it felt just a little bit low. Let's see. Let's see. Hopefully it's a little bit better now. I feel it kind of makes sense, story-wise, for him to be hurting like this. Level 4 access? We've only ever heard of three levels of access. Security level. Ooh. Oh no, security, security level is what they all say. But yeah, we've only heard of three. Yeah. East area. It's in the west area. Oh, I love this kind of architecture. So when I when I was younger, uh, you know, I I started I studied filmmaking, and I've loved it for a long time. When I was like middle school, high school, I was working on creating like a full series. I was going crazy with like creating stuff, and I I created like this series that had like a, an underground lab that kind of reminiscent of this, but a, not end of the world. Everyone's dead but like fully operational and populated it was really fun really cool and oh i, I love stuff like this so much so much the color-coded areas oh <laughs> you can really see what kind of person i am <laughs> the, i'm the kind of person that likes color-coded areas i loved umbrella growing up Umbrella was like, oh, they were the best. They were the best. That was, I saw something over there. Oh, this TV, it's widescreen. Widescreen in the 90s? I know it's a tube TV, but like, it's widescreen. That's crazy. <laughs> Type of things I noticed. Oh, I thought this was a door. Okay, save room. Nice. This means this is going to be a full area in itself. Gunpowder. We haven't gotten gunpowder in a while. Oh, what kind of stuff can I put away? I can put that away. What type of gunpowder do I have? Do I have any more? No. Alright. Putting gunpowder away. Hopefully I find the last pouch. Hopefully. Hopefully I didn't miss it. 
because I know there are some areas in the previous locations that I can't uh, can't go back to. Oh, what was that? Oh, the time. 26. There are only 24 hours in a day. Okay, so... Let's go forward. Let's not go forward. Let's, let's go over here. <laughs> oh, it's locked. Good thing we went that way. Now we know. You hate to see that. I used to be a dude. It's a plant monster. It's alive. Oh. <sighs> Looks really cool, though. <laughs> <laughs> Looks really cool. Senior staff clearance required for computer access. The the classic the classic <clears throat> robo voice. What kind of plant monsters are we gonna get here? Oh boy. Let's move it. Let's move it. <clears throat> By the way, I feel like I should definitely bring this up. The level design of this game is absolutely insane. I think it's one of the best. It is... A mini open world. You can go back to any part of it. It's a mini open world that you can just go to whatever part of it you want, explore whatever part of it you want, and it's it's all stacked on top of each other. The entire game is stacked on top of it itself. So much so that one elevator can take you back out to the beginning of the game. And honestly, when I heard that Deus Ex Mankind Divided was going for a similar thing. They wanted a small, dense, open world, one that was very detailed. I was very excited. And that aspect of it, I really enjoyed, but I felt that other parts of that game were really weak. This game feels like... Feels like it does it a lot better. Okay. These guys, you just have to shoot them in there. Three spots, and it's fine. Smith, grenade. Wow. What an input code. What? What's this? Dispensing solution now. Can you go back again, put stuff back into the... Yeah, I don't... Ah, uh, I feel like the flamethrower might actually be a good idea to keep, but... I'm thinking I'm gonna have to put a weapon back. Just because I, I need more inventory space, otherwise I have to keep coming back over and over and over. But uh, yeah, when it comes, we're in a plant infested area. I have a feeling keeping the flamethrower here is probably the best idea. <laughs> probably. So, I'm actually gonna put the mag away. I'm gonna put this away. There we go. 
That gives us a little bit more inventory space. Especially since I've barely been using the mag anyway. I was mostly using it for like bosses and stuff like that. Stuff that I feel needed more than a handgun. But now that we're fighting plants, uh, I have a feeling that it would probably be useful. Ah, oh, come on, they come back. Okay, note to self. They come back. Greenhouse! What's the layout of this room? Okay. Okay. Just wait for it, just wait for it. Hell yeah. Alright. Oh! Hello, buddy! What? Go! There we go. Your shoulder. Stop moving. Yeah, no. Nope. Alright. <laughs> I tried. What's this? I have to remember this. Hey Avram, welcome. I think I got it. I think I got it. This, 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 this. That's one. I miss clipping the widescreen TV. I know, right? It's, it's like, how? They didn't make those. They did, actually. They were just really expensive. Really expensive. Drug testing. Ooh. I like this room. Ah, uh, screw you. How am I supposed to figure that out? Just supposed to guess? Ah. Oh, no. Look at that dude. Dude. He's gonna get up. Or not. He's all puffy. I don't like it. Oh. Yes. This is the good stuff. Hello. Another thing you can do, which I am going to do, is uh, lure him away from that. Yep. Come on, buddy. Then I'm gonna run over here. Bam. See ya! See ya! Always go to where there are no door- well, actually, I don't know if that's a good... I 
don't know if that's good. Uh... Nice. Not that big. It's not that big. That's good. Server room, lounge. Oh, I saw 218 ammo and I was like, wait, is that my shotgun? <laughs> I was very confused. Very confused. Wow. This plant was bleeding. This is a server room? Oh. Yeah. yeah. We haven't had any zombies jumping through doors. Oh, there's no power. Mm. So we need the... I keep... Generator room. Low temp testing lab. Probably gonna have to go down. Something big in here. Steel boys. This trophy. If I've learned anything from Resident Evil. Guacamole Institute. <laughs> he got the. What is it? In Innovation Award. Genetics Umbrella Corporation. Okay. Murph. I don't remember what the other one said. One says Murph. Murph. All these zombies are gonna get up whenever we're coming back through. I'm a hundred percent sure. A hundred percent sure. Oh, hello. Hello. Two liquors, oh boy. Don't breathe out on me. Get out of here. There didn't seem to be anything there. Can zombies walk up stairs? I actually haven't seen any of them do it. Oh! Clever girl. Look at this glass, this opaque glass. Ooh. What? Hello, sir. Excuse me. Trying to trying to get somewhere. We're just here. I understand your plight. And more of this. I'm, a, I'm out of space. Clearly. And what's the... Why is there so... Somebody's note. Everybody turned... Vegified. <laughs> Those... Vegetarians. They're taking over the facility. They keep coming back. Again and again. Burn them all. Burn them until their whole body's black as ash. There's no other way. Okay. Signal modulation. Oh. Give me a second. I can combine this. Please don't be a zombie in here. And we get... I'll save it. I'll come back for there. I'm sure I'm gonna use my, my ammo at some point here. Hello, doctor. Yeah. 
Where you come from? Another doctor. Okay, I need a heal. <laughs> Erica, welcome. Glad to see you. How are you doing? Hope everyone's having a great day. Well, um, just killing some nice zombies. You know, just the usual. Just the oh, and it circles back. Pretty cool. Take care of Sicky. Yeah, hope he feels better soon. Hope he feels better soon. Okay, so good to know. They, they want me to burn everything, so I'm gonna take... I had the fuel, too. Where is it? I have the fuel. Fuel. There we go. Take out. But I finally get to see you during a week! And I'm not working! Bad. Yeah, we're gonna burn some plant monsters. We're gonna be burning a lot of plant monsters, so be ready for that. This is gonna be fun. This is gonna be very fun. I've saved 35 times now. <laughs> you know, I'm not very overzealous, right? Pretty careless. Am I... What is that guy holding? What is that? Jesus. What happened here? They just overgrew plants. You know how it is, Leon. Hello, plant guys. There we go. That's what I wanted. Okay, here we go. Uh, we need this. Examine. It is... Okay. Let's see if I can get it. Bow. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Can I use this thing again? Oh, oh. We're going to kill all the plants. I wonder what that's going to do. <laughs> Ooh, plant. You stay there. That guy's totally coming to life. Herbicide synthesis. Plant 43 herbicide synthesis. Place empty cartridge into the solution dispenser. Add the required amount of umb number two peony cool immediately. Plant 43 exhibits astounding growth. If something unfortunate were to occur, it may be hard to control. In the event of, unforese of an unforeseen incident, manufacture of the herbicide using the instructions above in order to minimize damage. Too late. Okay. So we put in the thingy. This. Manual mode engaged. Adjust amount of solution to match cartridge capacity. Okay. Too much. Oh.
What does this do? Oh, yeah. Nope. I think, yeah, here. Put it there. And we put that. No, actually, we, we put it here. Here. There. Okay. Now we switch that with that. We put that. We have to put that. How did I, what did I do? Okay, yeah, no, this is right. Boom, I have that. Now I put it here. Yeah, got it, got it. Hell yeah! Boom! Did you see my link about- I did see it, I did not click it, I was super busy. I- I was like, oh yeah, I gotta- I gotta check this out whenever I can. But yes. The prospect of having a Resident Evil 3 remake, given- especially given the- well, first of all, make me very excited. Second of all, I think it's very likely, just because of how successful this one already is. I f would find it hard for them not to oh, be working on on a on a remake of the third, just because of how successful this one has been. It's in the works? Nice, nice. I mean, I bet, I bet. Oh, okay. As long as I don't make any noise. Error. Do I have to... I have to prepare it before? Um... Murph. Uh Okay, it's here. It's so close. Right there. Boom. Gotcha. Murph. There we go. Power the area on. What rooms do we have here? I need to go here. Hopefully I don't need to go there. You stay, you stay right there, Mr. Liquor. Stay right there. Right there, Mr. Liquor. But yeah, I'm really excited. If they do anything like this... Welcome back, Dr. Lee. You have five new messages. I will. I am very, very excited. Wayne Lee's inbox. <sighs> well, oh, my hands are sweating. Uh, sender Rick Mendoza. What's he up to? You can't. Can you believe that bastard Cartwright? Cool your jets, asshole. Well, I guess he's in. He's the boss for now. 
Anyway, have you seen my helix anywhere? I put the secret on the bottom. Let me know if you find it. Byron Cartwright. Subject, busy guy, huh? So, you can make our little meeting. Fine, don't worry about the greenhouse inspection. Instead, I'll give you something real simple to do. Put together the budget estimate for the year after next. Get it done tonight. Rick Mendoza. Are you alive? We're under attack. People are dead. The east area is cut off. We can't operate the bridge with the wristbands we have here. Where is that bo bastard Cartwright hiding? Mendo Mendoza. Please reply. Plant 43 is going wild. The greenhouse is hell. <laughs> My reading. Uh, we need so to send someone in there before it's too late. Wayne, how do we stop this thing? You have to help us. Please reply. Mendoza. Do you remember Susie, the cheerleader? What a great gal. We were both into her. Of course, she wasn't into nerds. So I'll have to give you back those comics and games I borrowed. But might have to wait a while. That's the end of a friendship. Because of death. Do I get to put these clothes? Nah. Ugh. Who left the freezer open? I wonder if, like Metal Gear, just staying in here for a little bit will chill the thing. No, it won't. Okay, I need to. I need to actually do it. In oh, I'm gonna have to stay here and be attacked by monsters. Oh. Cooling complete. That was a lot simpler than I expected. <laughs> Yeah, zombies can't survive in the cold, so that guy's not getting up. I hope. <laughs> I hope. But the person out here is getting up, I am sure. This one. Or not? Okay, where is everyone? Okay. Alright, Licker, you... You stay right there, buddy. Don't move an inch. That's all we had to do, right? Cool it off? Herbicide synthesis. I require amount of... Cool immediately. Okay. That seems to be it. I hope he moves. <laughs> Thanks, Erica. Means a lot. <laughs> hey, buddies. Alright, you stay right there. I'm just gonna use this. Hopefully it kills all the plants. Dispensing solution now. There we go. Chip three. Hell yeah. That did the trick. Warning. You have dispersed a dangerous solution without authorization. Okay. And you may be subject to disciplinary measures. That's fine. You can discipline me whenever you want. <laughs> Why not the plants? Oh look, it's a normal dude! I don't think I've seen a normal dude in a long time. What's up with you, normal dude?
He's still around. How is he still around? I don't Just like that. I don't like that big dude is back. I really don't like that big dude is back. <laughs> uh big dude. He's the worst. I hate big dude. Well, now I know to get everything before. I get the thing. Anything. Yeah, big dude just comes from there. Yep. <laughs> Him again? I don't like it. I don't like it. At least now that I was fast, I didn't have to deal with them. You guys are still alive? Wait, I might pay for this. Byron Catwright. William Birkin, high priority, increased security. The, the, when did the nest become a nest for spies? Oh, a pun. It's real. Last month, another four this month. And those are just the ones we caught. Step up security, Cartwright, or do you want to end up like your pre predecessor? Oh. Also, I'll be restricting access to West Area from today, ignoring all requests from headquarters for the information on G. Those suits contribute nothing to this project anyway. Sender, no reply. Auto-generated email, unauthorized access detected. Herberside dispensal, unauthorized ex employee. Okay, we keep running. I'll do a quick save. We gotta run, that guy's coming through. Hopefully I can close off the bridge. Cause I don't want him following me. <laughs> Please let me close off the bridge. Please let me close off the bridge. Damn it. <laughs> we keep going. Hopefully big guy isn't following us. He's my biggest worry. <laughs> this means I'm gonna have to do everything fast. Ooh, lab digital video cassette. I like cassette tapes. Grenade. Don't have space for it right now. Ooh, another puzzle. See what we got. Actually, item box. Uh, put this away. Can put this away. Keep that. I don't think. No, I think you're good. And then your head gets eaten. You know, the usual OSS. Okay, OSS. I love that it actually pauses when you're in the menu, as otherwise, ooh, ooh, OSS. There we go. Hey there. 
I love little puzzles like this. I really do. Ooh, look at that. Let's watch it. I love watching cassette tapes. <laughs> Uh, remember artifacts? Oh, it's Birkin. Dr. Birkin, you come along with us quietly. You think I didn't know you were coming? This is my life's work. I'm not handing over anything. We have our orders, Dr. Birkin. I'll ask you one more time. Hold your fire! What the fuck were you thinking? Our orders were to bring him in alive! We're in, sir. But we had a snafu. Target resisted. We had to take him out. That's correct, sir. Roger that. Just the samples, then. Let's move. So they killed Birkin, and that's husband. So those were G samples. Yes, Leon. Yes, they were. William Birkin's inbox. Jane Doyle. Suspending research on G. The Umbrella Corporation has decided to cease all research on G, which was ongoing at the Nest Underground Labora Laboratory. All funding for this project has been cut, and Laboratory Director William Birkin has been removed from his post. B.E. Thank you for your mail, Dr. Birkin. Top Brass has expressed interest in this evolving bioweapon you mentioned. Do not worry about costs. Our company is more than well funded for... Funded in the whole of the United States. Oh, he was going to sell them. Sell them off. Richard K Kessler, congr congratulations. I heard good news. G is almost ready. Strange, you've never thought of reporting to the research lab here at Umbrella HQ, but I suppose I can let that slide. Anyway, send over the data, would you? And don't worry, you've done good work on G, but we can take care of the rest. Jane Doyle, notice of admonishment. Under, you are under suspicion of breaching your contract with Umbrella Corporation. It has become clear that you have claimed ownership of the G project and have been in unauthorized contact with the U.S. military. Please respond to the investigation committee summons within 24 hours. Ooh, eh. What were they doing? I, we're probably gonna figure out the monsters in these in this area are probably gonna be whatever he was experimenting on. Owie, welcome. Welcome to the nest, Owie. Welcome to the nest. Right, I'm gonna quickly go back here. Hopefully, big guy doesn't show up. Because if he's still following, which he was for a very long time last time, uh... We're in a bit of a pickle. Just a little bit. How are you doing, Owie? How's... How's the day treating you? Ooh, the hallway. Ew. I like it. This is a boss fight room, if I've ever seen one. Oh, I love the design of this nest! It's so good! Oh! Oh boy. This is not good, though. 
Look at it pulsating. It's like an Alien 4. I don't know how many of you guys have seen Alien 4. But all the different Ripley's that are being created. <laughs> embryo growth observations. Subject 449. After the G embryo was implanted in the subject, we made a 50 centimeter, centimeter incision in the chest to the abdomen and began our observations. With the help of the medical team, the subject's consciousness level was kept between 15 lucid GCS 10. However, the subject consciousness level deteriorated, and further observation was deemed unnecessary. The subject was then disposed of. Breeding rate observation subject 501. The G virus was administered to subject 501. 501 mutated into G form and was introduced to a group of 30 test subjects. After 2 hours and 36 minutes, it was observed that all but one of the test subjects had been implanted with the with an embryo. Oh no. <laughs> All subjects were disposed of. One subject broke down during the experimentation and took their own life. <coughs> Doing some weekly challenges. Weekly challenges? What kind of weekly challenges? Lots of wait, playing oh, Ghost Recon. I I didn't even see the Eating and play Ghost Recon. I like the multitasking. I, uh, they added a lot of like, uh, what's the name of the sneaking guy? Uh, the one that had the blacklist. It's Splinter Cell. They added Splinter Cell guy to that game. That's the last time I heard about about Sam Fisher. There we go. They added him to Ghost Recon. That was the last time I heard about Ghost Recon. It almost sounds like Resident Resident Evil. Metal Gear Solid 5, where you have to go in and release people and then get out without being noticed. Anyway. T-Virus Resistance Experimentation Subjects 625 and 639. We administered G-Virus to Subject 628. I said 625. Who was shown slightly resistance who had shown slight resistance to T-Virus. The virus was then introduced to subject 639, with whom 628 had a closer... Oh, no. Eh. Uh, subject 628 showed some signs of resistance, but had been implanted with an embryo after 24 minutes. T-Virus resistance does nothing to stop the mental deterioration called by the G caused by the G-Virus. Oh, they made them have sex. That's sad. That was easy. All right, now back to Ada. I have a feeling big guy is gonna. Okay, so we're in lockdown. I should be moving fast. No, I'm not. I hope they provide some berry white and baby oil. <laughs> uh, oh no, two zombies going at it. That's, I mean, that's what they did. <laughs> St virus rogue glide. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, I need to get moving. I don't know why I did that before I did anything else. Combine. Combine. Okay, quick save. Oh, it's their family picture with their daughter. Interesting we didn't see anything about their daughter. I wonder if she would even be in this game. And what role she would play. Wink, wink, wink. <laughs> Uh, something's gonna happen in this room. Look at how cool this room is. Something's gonna break through this door. I am a hundred percent sure. There we go. Oh. Oh, 
going on? Sorry, William. You left me no choice. You called this thing William. Why? It shouldn't have been like this. It's Umbrella's fault, this whole mess. Your umbrella, too. You're telling me you weren't involved in this. Yes. But we never meant for this to happen. Then tell me everything. Right from the start. There's a self-destruct Leon. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Please. You don't get away that easily. Done. So you made this monster. We made the G virus, but we never intended this. Spin it any way you want. You're still responsible. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, oh, screw you, lady. We can't let him get away. He can jump. It's very Leon. <laughs> okay. Um 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 Oh no. Oh no. This is bad. Okay, I need to- I need to study my- Okay, 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 okay! Okay, I need to- Oh, okay, 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 okay! What is this? What is this? Flash grenade! Okay, 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 okay! Did I shoot this? No, no, no! Oh, no! Okay, I should, I should be using this gun until I figure out what I gotta do. Okay, 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 okay. They're giving me a lot of ammo. This is okay. It's on the other side. It's on the other side. Burke, Burke, no. Run, Leon! Run, 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 Leon! Run, Leon! Run, Leon! Oh! What is that? Leon, Leon! That's a grenade! Oh, God! <laughs> ah! Oh! Are you gonna get through there, big guy? Oh, like that. Okay, that's two. I need to see his back. I need your back, big guy. Okay. Oh! Or your eyes. Turn around. Okay, I got the one in the back. <sighs> Big guy. Hell yeah, Leon. Oh, okay. 
Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. You do your thing, Mr. Big Guy. Uh, I'm on caution. I hopefully can take one more hit. Oh. Okay, I thought that was a cutscene. Let's get out. He's coming back. I mean, it's Resident Evil. The guy has come back like 20 times. Where He's coming back. Thank you. <laughs> I was... Ooh, they make fights very tense in this, and I love that. I saw her badge. She's gonna sell it. The G virus is gonna go to the highest bidder. Oh, that's bullshit. She kissed me. It can't be. I hope you're right. But if the G virus gets into the wrong hands, Do the right thing, Leon. Use your butt chin for something. Other than kissing Ada. Not that you kiss her with your butt chin, but you know what I mean. Okay. Well, one of the bad guys is dealt with. One of them. Um... I need... I'm gonna pick this up just cuz. So we're gonna pick this up just cuz. I feel like I'm not gonna use this anymore. I might, but whatever. Now, what? What I'm gonna do is actually reload the flamethrower. Boom. I'm gonna put the extra fuel in there. Yeah, this is my loadout. Is there no save here? Okay. We keep going then. Pick a grenade. Big guy's gonna show up, I swear. Hey! Cheater, you could have given us that and we wouldn't have to go through. I was just thinking about you. Uh oh. That makes two of us. I was getting worried. No, we make a good team. Oh, he's doing the whole attitude. I'm sad, this is going way too cliche now. <laughs> You? you kissed me. And I'm doing mine, so drop that damn gun. I'm taking you in. Hand over the sample, Leon. I don't want to hurt you. Guys. Well, I guess. No, this. No, you go on. And you shoot me. But I don't think you can. 
She can. She's a hardened mercenary. Oh. He can't either. They're in love. Oh, there goes a sample. No one gets that sample now. She becomes the most. <laughs> Just let her die, man. It's okay. It. Aw. It's not worth it. Don't do this. She finally did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know, right? Take care of yourself, Leon. No. Oh, she's actually dying. Huh. <laughs> no corpse. Not dead. <laughs> yeah, you gotta have the corpse. Nah, she's dead. It's not like she ever comes back in later games. It's not like she becomes a huge plot point in Resident Evil 6. Pfft. The best Resident Evil. Good thing she used her little tool to open the elevator before she died. Slowest elevator? Come on! <laughs> Come on, elevator. Nah, she lands on a dump truck filled with citrus peanuts. <laughs> Circus peanuts. Oh, oh, I could be seeing stuff. Oh, there we go. That's fun. Reading chat here. The candy? Or she lives and finds samples and aren't Resident Evil 3. Resident Evil 3 actually happens at the same time that Resident Evil 2 happens, so it would be a bit unlikely. There's that. Hint. Oh, I remember this room. I remember the TV room. I remember. Where's my health bar? Oh, there it is. Minutes until detonation. Who's that? Claire? Claire! Leon? You're down here too! Yeah, but the whole place is coming down. Listen to me. You need to get out. Fast. Yeah. There's a way out. We can make it. Where are you now? Claire, are you still there? Leon? Man, I wish we could play Claire's story. Forget about me. Hmm. Just get out of here. Damn it. It's almost like it would be really cool seeing the other side of what happens. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but that sounds like an us awesome second half to the game. Hmm. All right, I'm done. <laughs> oh, I still gotta use that. Huh? Um, I only have eight bullets left after that fight. Uh, I'm glad it doesn't. The thing doesn't keep counting down. I don't need that. I'll keep... Let's double down on the flash grenade. Actually, no, let's not double down on the flash grenade. I feel like... I still feel like the... The volume is... A little bit too low, but like a little bit. There we go. That's a little bit better. Zombies, you better not be in my way. Oh, I like the music. 
I do like the music. Oh, hello! Good to know you guys are still around. Oh, wait, I'm actually gonna use that just straight up. Come on, Leon. I wonder how tight this time is. I wonder how tight it is. Oh. <gasps> you gotta be kidding! No. Go Leon, go Leon, go. Go Leon, go Leon, go. <laughs> He's not going to stop for too long. Big guy never stops. We've learned that. He's been there from the beginning. <laughs> Foam candy? What are you guys talking about? <laughs> That's the only thing I had time to look down for. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff. What is this? Okay, 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 okay. What's this? Joint plug. I feel like I need that. <laughs> um, oh. Thank goodness for one of these boxes here. I don't need that. Getting rid of the grenade. Oh, it's an elevator. We're gonna have an elevator fight. I know it. I know an elevator fight when I see one. Leon, come on. Come on, buddy. Gotta move on. <laughs> Orange circle circus peanuts. I'm gonna I'm gonna click I'm gonna click it afterwards because I can't because the the mouse is stuck in the game. We're going further down? Leon! What a- oh... No... I don't know what to do with this guy. Well, I guess until, until I figure out, I'll use... Power of glitches on his side! Leon, go! He has glitch power! <laughs> Leon, no! <laughs> oh, buddy. <laughs> we're gonna die. Oh, we're gonna die. Oh, we're, 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 we're gonna die. Oh, God. <laughs> I just don't have time. Oh. Oh. 
hug him. <laughs> Don't get hit. Oh. Anti tank rocket. I'm out of lives. I was out of healing. Look at Leon just carrying a. <laughs> this is so badass. Let's go. <laughs> now do a rocket jump. <laughs> Leon's leg is just go. <laughs> just stay his torso. Oh man, they made this game so much better. I love it. This is the best game ever now. <laughs> there we go. We did it. We defeated both final bosses. Leon plus Ada, love forever. Screw Claire. <sighs> Who's this little girl? Oh. Shoots her. <laughs> Is this our child? Just like I said. We had a child from holding hands early in the game. <laughs> but yeah. There we go. That, my friends, is Resident Evil 2. It was short. It was sweet. Man, am I glad that there's not a completely different second part of the game that we're going to play right after, after these credits. Mm-hmm. Oh, the happy music that the credits play. Oh, I can now read the chat. Let's see what you were talking about, Candy. No, no corpse not dead. Okay. Nah, she lends a dump truck filled with circus peanuts. The candy? The, what a hellish way to live, eating yourself out of a dump truck full of circus peanuts. I hate foam candy. This stuff. Oh yeah, let me click it. Let me see what it is. I have never had that. I have never had that. Don't get hit, hug him, don't die. Hmm, I think you are. Don't. They are nasty? Oh. That's the thing. I, I like trying everything at least once. I like, you know. I don't really like just being like, oh, it's bad. Don't try it. I'm like, mm, I'm going to try it. So next time, I'll be trying hard drugs. <laughs> Circus peanuts are the final stage of life <laughs> in the life cycle of packing peanuts. <laughs> They're, they turn orange over time. Mmm, I've tried packing peanuts before. They're tasty. Mmm, mmm, I approve. But man, oh, this game. They did such a great job remastering it. Well, remaking it, not a remaster. It's a full-on remake, and they did a good job. This is how you remake a game. This is how you remake a game.
people were complaining, they were changing the perspective. No, this is the way you remake this for the modern day. If you want to play the original with those static cameras and stuff, play the old one. It's still great in the ways it does things. Uh, but yeah, this is how you remake it. A remake is not supposed to be the old game. If you want that, just remaster the game. But I am very happy. Very happy with, with how this turned out. Obviously, they improved the writing. They, it's still the same story and stuff, but like... It's all around better. There is no part of it that wasn't improved from the original. It's... It's just better. <laughs> the graphics, the RE engine is insane. It's, I think of the newer engines, my favorite one. Before that, I really liked the Fox engine, I think it was called. It's the, the one that they made Metal Gear. Uh, I love that engine and how that lit things and stuff, but this one is on another level. I loved how Resident Evil 7 looked, and I love how this looks. I, I think it's, it's insane. I like this, making popcorn. <laughs> oh yeah, make some popcorn, there would be a... There is definitely more. Jokes aside, that we, we have still another half of the game, but now we'll be playing with my main girl Claire, my crush when I was little. <laughs> uh, initially when I saw the trailers, I wasn't very, very happy that they changed how she looked completely. Like, all the characters look... Like, completely different people. That's completely fa fine now. I had a bigger problem, but, you know, it's fan. It's a fan problem. It's not a real problem. But, honestly, as always, it's the content that matters, not the form. And this is fantastic. Uh, I am so excited to play the other side. Let's see. Bethesda wouldn't be... Wouldn't do a remake like this. They just slight polish textures, effects, whatever is called it a day. Slightly. I know, right? You look at the Skyrim. The Skyrim remaster. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Nothing changed. They added God Rays, and that's it. Uh, you can find some very low textures on that. Because I think if you had the full edition of the old Skyrim on PC, they gave you the new one. So I booted that up. And it, there's not much there. <laughs> There is not, it doesn't look, like you get a game like this, and then you get Fallout 76, which were in production more or less the same time. <laughs> and then you see that the great innovators that Bethesda used to be, they're no longer there. They set, sat back and said, we're the best, we don't need to improve, and they just did that. Well, a company where you wouldn't be expecting something this high quality, this huge, Capcom, who had been quiet on the AAA space. Obviously, there have always been, they have always been AAA, but their releases had been smaller for for a while. If you think of their biggest games, they they they've been been quiet. Now they're coming out with huge, massive, beautiful games. It's it's awesome. It's absolutely awesome. Also saw something they might do for RE3 Remake, fans request demand. Uh, I think they're probably, given the m amount of money they're making with this, I think it's it's a no-brainer that they're already making one. Uh, Erica said that in, a, in an article they, they're already working on it, they already started to work on it, so I honestly don't... I don't doubt for a moment that they would be working on a new one because this is fantastic and people are buying it, people are loving it, and they should because it's really good. But yeah, imagine if... To go back to Bethesda for just one moment, one of the saddest things is the fact that they said that for the, their next two games, the space game that they're making, and Elder Scrolls 6, they're using the same engine. And they've been using the same engine. They've modified it, but they've been using the same engine since Morrowind. Oh, there we go. There we go. Here we go. They've been using the same engine since Morrowind. Uh, I got a B. <laughs> yeah. 
and they're going to keep using it, and it's just, please. You have one of the best engine makers under your Bethesda umbrella. And that's the other engine I really love nowadays. It's id Tech 6 and id Tech 7, which they're working on. Obviously, the, the makers of Doom, right? They're making Doom, Doom Eternal with this engine. And I think Wolfenstein made with this engine. It's one of my favorite engines. I think it looks fantastic. I think it runs incredibly well. It runs on the Switch well. You can have a good engine that works the way you want it to work. You don't have to build off of the old one. You can make one that suits a modern setting without having to just use 20 year old engine. And you have the best engine makers. They can make something that is tailored to the games you want to make, Bethesda Studios. Please take advantage of that. Now that you're a publisher and you have great studios, do it like PlayStation, where they share assets. They help each other create engines so that all their games look, feel, and run incredibly. That is what I want from Bethesda. That's what it felt like they were going for when they first became that big publisher name. And it's not. Sadly, it's not. Actually, just to correct myself, all the other studios, except for Bethesda Studios, seem to be working together. They share a lot of assets. They share their engine. Not Bethesda Studio, though. Bethesda Studio just doesn't accept help from anyone else, it seems. In that department. Anyway, that's my, that's my Bethesda rant. I'm gonna cut the VOD here, take a quick bathroom break, and come back with maybe a different story anyway yeah actually before i do that i'll just finish reading the comments Ugh. yeah Aoi, i posted something on the discord yeah about re3 same engine for 15 years yeah <laughs> yeah listen to rods if only if only and i feel it's not just my complaint a lot of people have a similar complaint and it, i mean it makes sense it's it's what they should do they have such a great engine maker under their umbrella now so anyway that's it for the leon side i'll be back with claire's side very soon Doo -doo -doo.